Good morning, everyone. It's late June in Virginia. Welcome to Earth's Treasures and my gardens. So this morning, I let the chamomile go a little bit too much for a week. And I have been harvesting it. We're going to walk over here and I'm going to show you the chamomile growing along with my harvest so far this morning. And here we go in my nice little patch of chamomile. And actually it's not so little anymore. I've had it here ever since I've been here for five years and it has grown tremendously. And we'll come down here a little bit closer to the plant. As you can see, I've harvested all of that in the rear when I still have to harvest all these flowers. And yes, that's what we use is the flowers in medicine. And as you can see, Chamomile is like a little small daisy, and yes, it is of the daisy family, Asteraceae. And its leaves are very fine and soft. Let's see if I can get a close-up for you. Absolutely inviting, gorgeous plant. And the smell of it is almost like a citrus apple. These flowers right here that we harvest. And how we harvest them is basically it's a very tedious job. Um, bigger farms, they have what they call a chamomile rake. And they just take this big rake and they rake it through and it grabs these flowers. Uh, but a smaller farms and herbalist we just take the flower here, flower head, and we just sort of like pop it off like that. And this smells wonderful. And I'm gonna put it over here, and this is my harvest thus far this morning. That's about three quarters of what I'm gonna harvest. Now this chamomile I've been harvesting for probably about three weeks now. And she'll probably go for probably about another month. Chamomile is a wonderful herb for your nervous system. It's what they call a nervine. And nervines actually relax your nerves. They calm the nervous system. If you're anxious, um, you have a little anxiety. This is a wonderful herb. It doesn't work for everybody. It was really helpful for the really young and the really old. Children love it and it has a great affinity for children. And it also has an affinity for older adults in their senior years. Um, it makes a wonderful tea and you can also tincture it. But tea, I believe, is the best form. Chamomile is also a very good anti-inflammatory due to its phytochemicals. Um, it's great for any kind of arthralgias, um, pain, uh, inflammation, uh, both internally and externally. Um, this is why I use it in my muscle joint salve. I use it for the inflammation um, of the arthritic com component of what they're going to use it for. Or perhaps, um, you know, some kind of muscle trauma. There's inflammation there, of course, for the body to heal itself. And it's also a good for the stomach. They call it stomachs. And it's wonderful for colicky children, babies. Um, it's also good for um, nervous indigestion or just indigestion in general. Um, 
So basically that is what chamomile is used for. It's used as a nervine, it's used for anti-inflammatory, and it is used for your stomach, stomach, to calm and ease the nervous tension and or indigestion. I hope you enjoyed the chamomile and my little talk this morning. And now I need to finish harvesting this chamomile so that more can grow. And as you can see, we have a lot more buds on here that's ready to come out. Um, we also do have a few spent ones. Um, any ones that look like this, let me show you where most of the rays of the flower are spent and laid down or there's no rays left. Yeah, I was in this one right down here. It's all dried out, the head of the flower, and there's nothing left. I missed that one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take that off just like if it's if it was the top of a flower and we're going to just discard that and hopefully that will help to regenerate more new flowers so until next time I want to say goodbye to Lady Chamomile and her wonderful scent and wonderful qualities